Hello everybody, this is Evan from the Whatever Bros. And today I'm going to be taking a look at my quick converter and search incognito, which is both uh, Google Chrome extensions. And both of these extensions you really don't want on your computer. So, uh, let's get started. And first, it's my quick converter. So, uh, you either get this as a... You get like my quick converter when you download another program, it'll come bundled with this, or this you'll find this page. It's gonna tell you that you can convert up to like 30 file types, convert any files into PDFs, and it's 100% free. Uh, well, even freedom costs something, uh, and this costs your start page and how you're able to search. So, uh, I don't think that freedom is worth it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's get started. So go and click this big green continue button. Go and click this add extension. And you gotta wait for it to download and that stuff. Alright. And then it also wants to be to install search incognito. So, yeah, let's install it. So this also. This has a bad rating. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, I go and it's added to Chrome, which is nice. It's gonna pop up this. Let's go and get rid of this. So this is uh, my quick converter. Uh, there's this like you can search for stuff. It gives your local weather, news. Uh, convert to DAW, convert to PDF. So when you click current, uh, convert to PDF, it goes to a cloud convert. I'm not sure if this is legit or not. Like I didn't really, really look into this. I I guess it is, uh, but I've never heard of it. I heard of it before. So let's go and get rid of that. So that's pretty much my quick convert. It's uh, not too bad, but the thing is that when you go and search something, let's go click, uh, or type in malware, for example. It's gonna go and pop up with a, a, uh, uh, a new tab, and did you see that it is like, uh, like, query dot, my, uh, quick converter, whatever. It goes to search.yahoo.com. Uh, and this is safe, safer browser Yahoo. Uh, and yeah, it it gives you the stuff, but the it's it's I I don't like Yahoo though. I I don't want it to redirect my searches and stuff, which that's the reason why this is bad. Um, but it's it's pretty much it. If you right click on that and go to that, it'll give you uh a Google Chrome extension page. Let's get rid of that. And now let's go to search incognito. So if you left click on this, it'll give you a few options. You can search incognito, uh, about page, help, settings, and stop redirecting searches. Uh, so what happens is, for example, if I go up to this top bar, this top bar uh, goes to Google. And let's go type in malware. If you try to use any other search engine, it'll pop up with this. It says your default search engine may track the search. The search incognito extension detected that your search engine destination may track your searches. To protect your search privacy, we, re we re recommend using searchincognito.com, the privacy enhanced search engine. To uh, click protect by search to protect your search privacy and search on search incognito to search to search on your default search engine take the take me to my original destination link uh i have a game for you uh take uh drink a shot every time i say search uh that's a lot of searches uh but yeah just protect my search and take me to my original destination if you click this it'll actually go to uh google chrome click on that and voila uh, but let's get rid of that and let's go type in malware again. 
I go to protect my search. Now it is search incognito. The search into the perts privacy first. Uh, I don't believe that. Uh, that's totally legit. Totally legit. This, yeah, legit, man. Uh, but yeah, is uh, that's pretty much it of search incognito. It's kind of like uh, the other section. My uh, speed converter. Oh, sorry, quick converter. Uh, both of those have like searching things and redirects you to stuff, but I won't recommend using them because they'll obviously steal information or that stuff, at least record information, that stuff, even though it says it's legit and doesn't search or stuff uh, or track your searches. So, now I'm done showing you these two extensions, uh, what should we do then? Uh, how would you remove this? It's it's very, very simple. You either hover, hover over this and right-click it and go to Remove from Chrome, or go to these three bars, go down to More Tools, uh, go to Extensions, click on these uh, trash cans, and remove. It's going to go and pop up with this, like, exit survey type of thing. Uh, good evening, beautiful human being. Oh, why, thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe I can take a look at that, uh, sometime. This is sneak peek for Polaris Search. Yeah. Sneak peek, man. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, let's go and get, remove this. Uh, it's and then this is gonna pop up with a uh, uh with a like a exit survey as well. So uh, that's pretty much it of this video. Uh, I uh, I would recommend using ADW Cleaner or Malwarebytes. I I did test this and it didn't ADW Cleaner didn't pick up anything, but I still would recommend using those two uh those two programs because. Who knows? It might have dropped something. Uh, so, this is Evan from the Word of a Bros, and I'll see you later.